What is up ladies, gentlemen, and brucies? Welcome back to another Legendary Finds. Today I have something special for you. We have here the Fire Bee. Mine is the Lobbed Fire Bee. The prefix of this grenade mod probably will change. You might have something else, but it will be some version of the Fire Bee or Bee. I don't know if it's in different elements or not. But we're going to want to look for to find this gun. Uh, is that literate? He can't talk. Okay, but you will have to go to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. And where you're going to find this, well, this is my personal preference that you can find this in, um, with loot midgets, but it's an unconfirmed drop is why. So I'd say go hunt for these loot midgets in, uh, in the Wildlife Preserve, because that's why, because there's these two boxes that you'll see in a second, although it's four. But 100% of most of the time, two loot midgets will spawn in one of those boxes. And this, and by the way, if you guys recognize, this is the um, recycled footage from the Deliverance video. So you'll recognize some of it. You'll see me play around the Deliverance for a second. But as you can see here, if you, there's an easier way to do this, but I cannot since I did not pre-order this game. You can go to, if you pre-order this game, then you will have a map called the Wild, no, it is the Creature Slaughter Dome. If you go to the Creature Slaughter Dome, fast travel there, then you will always spawn at that door. As long as you save and quit. If you save and quit, come back, then you can literally walk out the door, see if uh, t t mm, blah, Timon and Pumbaa, something like that, spawn out. Or you can easily go to Mothrak or find these loot midgets. Everything's really close once you go to that door. But I have to do it the extremely long way, so bear with me here. So, we're arriving here. I'm, I'm telling you, this the deliverance is not that good. I mean, I try using it. I gave it a chance. I really did. But on armor, it is poop. It is major poop. But, I mean, on normal guys, I mean, I guess. I mean, these stalkers were pretty easily killed, but I could not stand the deliverance. I always use the Maggie, the Electric Conference Call, the Hellfire now, and the Bonus Package. I like to use the Hornet, too. By the way, I will make a vid. That will be our next video up next. And um, just through those doors to our right here, we will find these loot midgets. But we're going to have to go through a lot of robots first. It's one of the most annoying things of all time. I hate it how you have to fight your way through before that door opens. But as you can see, we're almost... Nope. Wait. Yep. And we make it here. And we find these loot midgets right about here. It, he's going to pop up in the first box. If you have... Honestly, these loot midgets will mess you up if you do not be careful. If you have something good to distract them with, like something like like the hologram and the bonus package and a bee shield, then, I mean, you're okay. So you can see there the fire bee has dropped, and it did drop the lobbed fire bee, the one that we have, and it's a level 50. So that is cool beans. So we're going to have to give up a few things to drop it, but alas, that is a sacrifice to getting this cool weapon. So, um, we're going to go to Fink's Slaughterhouse here, and we're going to test out this and see if it'll dispatch with haste with enemies, shall we? So, I mean, with the rating scale that I'm doing now, I would give this, I don't know if I've already said this yet, but I'm giving this an 8. Because, like the Hellfire, I'm a, I'm a fire freak, and it just works for me. I'm a fire corrosive guy. But as you can see, the this Caustic Goliath, even with his shields up, I didn't touch him. Shields up. And that and that grenade disposed of him easily. So this is a damage mon this is an area effect damage monster. So you might want to stand back though, because those bees will fly back at you if you're not if you're not far away enough. But it won't get the enemies if they're out of its range, obviously. So you might want to keep an eye on that. So yeah, that's the fire bee right there. I don't know if it comes in any other element. I would love to find it in a slag or a corrosive. I mean, fire's pretty good too, but I, like I said, I'm a fire corrosive kind of guy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, subscribe, and stuff. But by the way, I would like to ask, would you please give me, if you guys are watching this, I don't know how many of you will, but if you guys are watching this, then send me Send me a friend request, because I don't have a lot of guys who play Borderlands with me anymore. So, I've been doing this all alone lately, and I've been wanting to do the Venomorphous drops with the North Fleet, the class mods, and and its grenade. I can't remember all the names until we actually find it. But, if you guys would like to friend me, I'm on Xbox Live, Element Tornado, capital E-L-E-M, 
Now I'm spelling it wrong, so illiterate, but just, if you know how to spell element and tornado, then you're okay. But, if you guys would like to help me with this, that'd be great. I'm using my brother's file because my, my file reset, I, I'm still a level 50, but my campaign restarted, so I can't do ultimate Vault Hunter mode or stuff, anything like that, so I'm using my brother's file, although I've tweaked it a little, so that would be great. So if you guys want to join me on fighting, finding these legendaries, please send me a friend request. Yeah, but thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, subscribe, and stuff like that. And I will see you later. Peace, my friends. Peace.